Okay, so obviously, you know, we've been talking a ton about grip strength and, and more importantly, really dynamic grip pressure in the swing. So we've been collecting this data uh, and I'm actually here with Kirill from Sensor Edge to talk to us about some of their new developments, some of the technology that they have and are developing to allow us to better uh, measure and calculate what golfers are actually doing during a golf swing on the grip. Yeah, uh, happy to explain what we got. And uh, technically, we're talking about grip pressure to be measured dynamically. So like you can see on the screen, we squeeze the uh, handle and we see heat map showing how uh, we apply in force over the grip. So it's like uh, your standard dynamometer, but 360 all around, uh, presenting uh, very precise uh, pressure distribution. Yeah, we can get that pressure distribution, the total force, the separation between the two hands. Um, this kind of technology, you, you've made some advancements to allow this heat mapping to really kind of see yeah. where that pressure is, you know, in the in the hands or what fingers it's in. Correct? Exactly. Yeah, we can track uh, we can track separately each hand, and when needed, when we have such an order, we can track specific areas. So like uh, for different sports, for, for example, for baseball, we can track uh, pinky finger because it's kind of overstressed mm -hmm. uh, most of the times. Uh, for golfers, we have different requests, but yeah, we can, we can track whatever's happening in between your hands and uh, a grip. Awesome, I've, I have one question that I want to ask you because you've probably collected more data on this for golfers than probably a lot of people are seeing more introduced. Mm -hmm. to, I mean, you have a ton of data, so if there's like one thing that jumps out to you, as you look at how golfers utilize this and what you're seeing in your data, what's that one thing? My main concern right now is uh, golf grip makers because they historically uh, somehow decided that uh, grip size correlates with palm size. And I don't like it. <laughs> like women's grips are undersized and that is a big problem for for game of golf for women. So, but again, uh, we have a lot of data, as you said. We still collecting it. We're still analyzing it, and we're trying to make game of golf better. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we can't wait to add to that. Be collecting our own data and understand how this correlates to speed and strength training and grip strength and all those things. And so, appreciate you taking some time yeah. to talk to us about your new tech. All right.